All right, some AP Calculus AB review. I'm going to just look at the chain rule. So what I'm looking for is S prime at T of this position function. I guess the first thing I would do this is I would do my rewrite, and I just want to remind you that being able to rewrite in calculus is key. So rewrite, this is the same as T squared plus 2T plus 8 all to the 1 half power. From here, I can easily use the chain rule, right? We're going to use the chain rule. We're going to look at this as if it was two functions. We have an outside function here. So what's the derivative of the outside function? And of course, the derivative of the outside function would be 1 half, whatever this thing is in here. And then 1 half minus 2 over 2 is negative 1 half, isn't it? And then we take the derivative of the inside function. So now what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this inside function right here. And the derivative of that is, well, the derivative of t squared is 2t, isn't it? And the derivative of 2t is t, I'm sorry, is 2, so plus 2. And the derivative of 8 is 0, isn't it? So that's what we have here. Um, let me go ahead and fill this in. I just wanted to remind you that I was looking at this as if it was two separate functions. I'm going to do that, right? This is a negative 1 half, so this is going to come out to be 1 half, that 1 half is this one right here. This whole thing is going into the into the denominator because, right, so square root, I'm going to just clean it up, t squared plus 2t plus 8, right? And at the top, we're going to have 2t plus 2, which is the same as 2 times t plus 1. And if you can see why I did that, it's because this 1 half and this 2 cancel each other out, don't they? So I believe this is our derivative. So we have s prime at t is equal to that value. All right? So, all right, let's do another one quickly. And let's do this one. This one is, was one that gave people a lot of trepidation. Love that word. Y is equal to 37 minus secant cubed of 2x. So I'm just going to look at this differently. I'm going to look at this as y is equal to 37 minus secant of 2x cubed. Same meaning, isn't it? I know that the derivative of this 37 is 0, so y prime, the derivative of that is 0, isn't it? And I'm going to do the derivative of the outside. And the outside function to me looks like this. It's this negative piece right here and this, isn't it? So we have 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, right? Secant of 2x, so we don't do anything to the inside piece here, do we? Right? Times the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of the inside, right? Is 2 secant 2x, sorry, secant 2x tan 2x, right? So what I did here is I took the derivative of the inside, and this is the first derivative of secant of f of x. So the derivative of the inside piece is this, and the derivative of secant of f of x is secant f of x tan f of x, isn't it? So I think that gives us a good answer, and I'm liking that answer. I'm going with that answer. And I'm going to look, I'm going to take this negative 2 right here times this one here. Oh, this is not a negative 2. So we get negative, that, that went here, negative 6. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Secant 2x squared times secant 2x tan 2x is my final answer, I believe. What do you think about that? Oh, golly, right? This is squared, so look, we can keep putting this together. I'm sorry, you guys, but let's just do it right. I'm trying to rush through stuff. This secant 2x squared times secant 2x is secant cubed 2x, isn't it? Times tan x. I'm sorry, tan 2x, isn't it? Okay, I think we have a good answer. And then if we were given an x value, we could we could evaluate it at that at that point, couldn't we? Okay, you guys, great work. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do.